Whoa. Right, folks. Right, back with the... Um, where's my fucking keys? Uh, back with Blue Van Man 2.0. Um, just been shopping around Louvreborough. Pissing it down, folks. Bloody pissing it down. Anyway, you don't want to know that. Very much indeed. Uh... You can fuck off. Right, what I want to have a quick chat about, folks, is uh, hypocritical, 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 bloody celebrities and politicians that bloody preach one thing and then do something completely fucking different. Now, in the news today, uh, Nicola Sturgeon, that little, oh, don't get me started about her. Well, I'm going to start and I'm going to fucking finish about her and all. Um, she's been out, well, let's face it, folks, for the last God knows how long. My fucking van's all wet because I've got her in it. It's pissing down. What the fuck's going off here? Some twat's done that. Right. Um, for God knows how long, since this COVID thing's been kicking off, um, she's been pra basically pra uh, preaching that uh, all the English are dirty bastards and she don't want nobody up there and nobody's doing what they should be doing and she's telling everybody to do this and that, uh, wear a mask, socially distance and everything. Uh, then guess what? Picture comes out, eh? She's at a bloody funeral at some wake and uh, she's not wearing a mask. So there you go, you have it. Fucking brilliant, well done Nicola. So you're there giving it all the big fucking, I'll knock your fucking head off if you don't fucking wear a mask. And there she is, not wearing a mask. What's all that about? She's like all the other fucking knobheads who keep preaching and trying to put us all in a fucking place when they're all, when they're all just as bad. Piers Morgan, he's another fucking prick. Can't keep his big fat gob shut telling us all what to do and how it should be. What's he do? He goes out, gets in a taxi. Oh, I forgot to put my mask on. I'm not do apologize. I had a moment. Fuck off, did you? If you're gonna do this, Piers, if you're gonna tell us what to do and how we should behave, you should do it. You're a fucking hypocrite, mate. Gary Lineker, another one, tweeting away. Oh, I know he's a Leicester boy and all that shit. But no, what's he do? Taking pictures of him wearing a mask. If you all wear a mask, if it's a 1% chance, if it can save somebody, we should all wear a mask. What's he do? No, he goes in a fucking shop two months ago without a fucking mask on. I don't know who he thinks he fucking is. Yeah, I, I mean, let's face it. I've done it before where I've gone out in the van, got to the shop at the front door, seen somebody wearing a mask. I thought, oh, fuck, I ain't got my mask. Traipse back to the transit. Get me fucking England bandana that I wear. Right? Or my Leicester bandana. Yeah? Got it. Or, what you could do is actually, most shops now sell fucking masks, like fucking five pound for two, right? You go in, you buy one. Or you stand at the door, can I just buy a mask please? Or, you do this, right? You just go in with your thing round and get your fucking mask. It ain't fucking rocket science, you ain't got to work it out. Kay Burley and that Beth Rigby, another ones. She's been drilling people all fucking COVID, ain't she? Kay Burley, oh this and that, oh this and that. 60th birthday comes along. She goes out on the fucking piss. We're all a fucking mates thinking she's something special. Thinking she's something fucking special and immune to the rules. Oh no, no, she does it. She goes to a fucking restaurant with about 1,800 people. Like, she may as well have filled fucking Wembley. How the fuck she had that many people that fucking like her, I do not know. I honestly do not understand that. She's got that many friends unless they're all fucking scared of her. But there you go, you see, because what happened were the so-called work colleagues grassed her up. What happens? No, she goes out, she gets a six-month ban on full fucking pay. Anybody else, thousand pound fine. Fucking hell, unbelievable. And these fines that they keep issuing out to people, why is it only 60 pound? People like Piers Morgan, right, who's on thousands and thousands of pounds a fucking year, why is he only getting the same one by Uvira, who forgets to put a fucking mask on when she pops into Boots to pick up a fucking hemorrhoids cream? Why the fucking hell does she get a £60 for? I don't know if anybody called Vera is on hemorrhoid cream, but it was just an example. Uh, why is it that um, he gets? we all get the same fucking fine? It should be like speeding fines, where it's all uh, done on earnings and how much of a fucking prick you are. Who else was there? Nicola Sturgeon. Dr. Hillary, he's another one. He went out. Uh, oh, I was going to the chemist to pick up a prescription. I'm sorry, fucking Hillary. 
it don't stop working. COVID don't stop infecting just because you go into a chemist to put, oh, COVID's there. Ah, we'll leave Dr. Hillary alone because he's going into the chemist for Vera's hemorrhoids cream. Fuck off. You're all there preaching and fucking practicing, yet you're all fucking living in a different world. Here's another one. Twat Hancock, here another one. He got in a fucking uh, chauffeur-driven car, chauffeur-driven car, and didn't have his fucking mask on. Why? Don't, it, don't COVID affect fucking uh, chauffeurs then, eh? If you're carrying it, with the amount of people you're fucking elbowing, you fucking prick. Who else? Dominic Cummins, he's just a twat anyway. But what, it, what you, now you see, what winds me up the most is here. What winds me up the most is, is that um, you, you get these people who are practicing, right? They're preaching, telling us all what bad, bad people we are if we don't go by the rules and granny's gonna die. My gran's dead. Both of my grands are dead, right? But that ain't the fucking point. And then what they'll do is they'll say, oh, Bradley Walsh wasn't wearing a mask and a tie. Bradley Walsh isn't practicing, uh, preaching what he should be doing. These are the ones, right? These are fucking thinking they're all fucking holier than thou or whatever the fucking saying is. Telling everybody and think they're doing the job and just going for the soundbite that gets them their top publicity of reporter or dickhead of the fucking year. Well, it ain't on. It ain't fucking on, right? When most people, I would have thought right now, are going out and if you forget a mask, you generally forget a mask, right? You've got loads on your fucking mind. You've got... People are being furloughed, you've got people who are fucking running out of money, you've got Christmas and you can't buy your kid a PS5, or whatever, and it's just a complete fucking joke that um, this is going on. But when these celebrities or these politicians fuck up, it's brilliant. It absolutely, it's almost as good as having a fucking piss on a full bladder. You know when you're dying for a piss and you get there, and you think, oh, oh that's brilliant when I have a piss. That's what it is. When these fucking knobheads who keep telling us what bad people we are, right? And when they fuck up, it's absolutely brilliant. It is, isn't it? Put your comments down below, folks. I'm more than willing to read them and um, see what you've got to say. But it's absolutely brilliant. See, you know, it's like Boris Johnson's dad, isn't it? Now, Boris Johnson's dad, you can just tell he's a fucking old twat who just don't know what's going off half the time. I mean, he's, we, we know where his son gets it from. Right, but well, he's not been out there telling us what to do. But these people that tell us what to do need to be made an example of, right? Because they're setting the standards, they're setting the bar, right? And that's the ones that fucking wind me up. Anybody can make a mistake. We're all fucking human. You stay there and you're fucking Land Rover. Um, we can all fucking make a mistake. Yes, I am in the speed limit as well, so don't fucking think I'm not. Um, we can all make a mistake and things go wrong. But it's when they keep preaching, you got to do this, you'll kill somebody. It's your reason why the fucking virus is going around. No, it ain't. We're only human. We'll fuck up and that's it. Don't fucking preach. Don't go fucking being nasty to people. <sighs> Get out of the bloody way in your bloody Kia Seed. Two mile an hour so everybody fucking sees you. Oh, and it dead. Fucking hell. I mind you, you know, I'm not a fan of markets and stuff. I don't mind walking around the markets at Christmas because it tries to get an atmosphere, but it was absolutely dead in love with today. It's fucking depressing. It really is. Speed bumps. You don't need them. Uh, right, get you later, folks.